day two of our week-long adventure exploring Florida's nature coast begins at Hunter Springs Park in Crystal River, Florida. Come along with us as we paddle along the popular kayak trail from Hunter Springs to the famous Three Sister Springs. We'll give you a quick tour around these beautiful springs and we'll show you if we were lucky enough to find any manatees on this adventure. And be sure to stick around until the end where we end another amazing day on the nature coast at an awesome local tiki bar. Today we're going to be paddling in the Crystal River. We are here at Hunter Springs. We're going to be paddling in Kings Bay this way toward Three Sister Springs. Hunter Springs Park is located in the city of Crystal River in Citrus County, Florida. The park provides visitors with easy access to Hunter Springs, the most accessible spring in all of Kings Bay. The park also provides kayakers, canoers, and paddleboarders with a great launch spot to access one of King Bay's several springs. We're here at the kayak and paddle launch spot at Hunter Springs. We didn't get going early enough today to get a spot in the lot to park, so Skylar is looking for parking. I'm going to get the boards ready for us to paddle over to Three Sisters Springs. We've actually done this paddle before, but the weather conditions were not near as nice as today. So if you want to see that experience on a rough paddle day, we'll make sure to put a link to that video in the description below. But today, it's hopefully going to be a whole different experience. How far away do you have to park? Like four blocks. Okay. I remember the snorkel stuff. Oh, good. With our vehicle parked and paddleboards ready, it was time to get out on the water. We quickly realized that we'd have a headwind to battle to get to the springs. We wanted to stop off here at Pete's Marina because this was the area we stopped at last time we paddled to Three Sisters Springs and we were trying to decide if we wanted to keep going because the weather was just really poor that day and the waves were pretty rough. So we wanted to show you the difference between what the water is like today versus when we were here the last time. And I don't know if we talked about this in our last video or not, but this was the area where we saw people get rescued on their kayaks because the water was so rough. Our paddle to the springs was a slow one. We didn't mind taking a little extra time to get to the springs, as the scenery along the route was beautiful. After about a half hour of leisurely paddling, we arrived at Three Sister Springs, ready to cool off in the refreshing springs water and hoping to spot a manatee. Our trip to Three Sisters was between April 1st and November 14th, so we were able to paddle directly into the springs, although motorized boats were still prohibited from entering the springs during this time. If you visit the springs from November 15th through March 31st, you're only permitted to access Three Sisters Springs by swimming in, as no crafts of any type are allowed. Visitors should also know that during the coldest times of the year, when the number of manatees in the warmer spring waters is especially high, access to the springs may be closed completely. As we had visited on a weekend day, the springs was a pretty popular place when we arrived in the early afternoon. And as a result of all the activity, we noticed the water to not be as clear as some of the other springs we had experienced. We did find that as it got closer to evening and the springs started to clear out, the clarity of the water improved significantly. Here at Three Sisters Springs, they do try to balance allowing people to visit the springs, but to also preserve the area. 
so they do have rules if you paddle in here you're not able to pull your paddle boards or kayaks up onto the rocks or tie them to any trees so if you are wanting to swim you have to kind of leave your board floating a bit or you need to tie it up outside of the springs and swim inside In the winter time, manatees flock here because of the temperature of the water. But we are here in the summer, and a lot of people visit the spring in the summertime. So not too many manatees or other sea life tend to hang out here when so many people are here. And while we weren't fortunate enough to spot any manatees in the springs, we still had a wonderful time relaxing and exploring the cool, clear water. How is it? Okay. <laughs> Um, if you had a better snorkel, yeah, it'd be a lot better. <laughs> Should have checked that before our trip. I thought about getting in the water and then I put my legs in and immediately cooled down. So this is probably good for me. We thought we were leaving. We decided to paddle around a little bit more because I don't know when we'll get back here again. After enjoying our time at Three Sisters, it was time to paddle back to Hunter Springs, pack up the boards, and find some dinner. But the paddle back turned out to be much more exciting than we anticipated. So we're not in the springs anymore, but there's a manatee sighting. Oh, that's so cool! Oh, it's coming up. Oh, boy, up, boy, up. Oh, hi. Hi. I'm back down. He's like right underneath Skylar. Hopefully, he doesn't try to come up. I know. He would definitely mess me up. <laughs> oh, my gosh, he's so big. Heading back late in the day is so peaceful. Most of the other paddlers and boats have already gone. And thankfully today the wind actually died down even more. Happy to have found a manatee, we enjoyed the relaxing paddle back to Hunter Springs while planning out the rest of our evening. And thankfully, that planning led us a few miles to the south to Crump's Landing Waterfront Tiki. Tonight we're here at Crump's for dinner. Yesterday we were across the river over at the shed, so we should be able to see the shed from where we're eating tonight. So last night we were over here eating. It's kind of funny because today when we use Google Maps to navigate to Crumps across the river, apparently Google thought we were going to swim across the river. <laughs> we figured out how to get here. Upon arriving at Crumps Landing, we were amazed by the beautiful setting laid-back atmosphere, and overall size of the waterfront tiki bar. We were especially happy to see that Crumps was following social distancing guidelines, with all patrons encouraged to keep one manatee apart. 
After enjoying a couple local beers, our dinner arrived just as the sun was setting over the river. After enjoying our dinner, we explored a little more of the property before deciding it was time to head back to the hotel, or so I thought at least. So I went to the bathroom because I thought we were getting the tab to leave, but here is how I found Skylar. What's that? <laughs> Bloody pickle. <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> that is actually really good. Is it like a pickle punch you in the face? <laughs> it's very pickly, but I like pickles. <laughs> if you're interested in seeing more of our tour of the nature coast, the Gulf beaches, or other Florida content, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn the notifications on. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. All right. You know when you laugh, the camera laughs with you, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs>